Philosophers and astronomers have searched for it for centuries, but many Tulsans already know the center of the universe is right here in the shadow of downtown's tallest building. Storm Shield meteorologist Kirsten Horn reveals the mysteries of a Tulsa must see. It is one of Tulsa's most fascinating and well known phenomenon, the center of the universe, a landmark that stumps an estimated 10,000 visitors from across the country each year. It's basically a focusing anomaly. Uh, you're standing in the middle of a, of a circle that's caused by concrete uh, benches. It doesn't matter which direction you face or how loud you are. When you talk, your voice will hit these concrete walls around you, reverberate back, and create an echo that we know as the center of the universe. And how's this for a paradox? Anyone standing outside the circle won't hear what you hear. Yeah. I can't hear it at all. The landmark was originally located on the Boston Avenue Bridge, connecting the Greenwood District to downtown Tulsa. But there was no echo then, and the bridge was open to vehicles. A fire destroyed that structure in the 1980s, so the city turned it into a brick pedestrian walkway, and an accidental legend was born. I think that it was, uh, it was something that was just was done as a design, and, and it was just kind of a happy accident. Um, if it was intentional, uh, I've not heard anybody come out and say. Even the name is a mystery. Nobody seems to know who started calling it the center of the universe. This concrete. I think so. There's something <laughs> going on that's like maybe the vibrations or something. The scientific explanations don't keep some visitors from coming up with their own theories. She thinks they it's a, voice echo, a trick. It's a trick. <laughs> it's a trick. After all, that's half the fun. From the center of the universe, Kirsten Horn, two works for you. Now, if you haven't seen the center of the universe yet, you can check it out at First and Boston. It's just north of the BOK Tower.